Hello friends, how are you? My name is Harendra Tiwari and in this very special class, we will discuss about soil conservation measures. Before going to start soil conservation measures, we have to discuss soil conservation. So let's start with the content. So in this class, we will discuss introduction part, mean soil conservation, what is the soil conservation measures and their different applications. Second point, measures of soil conservation means are to classify how different practices will be beneficial for soil conservation. L uh, like uh, agronomic measures, mechanical measures, which is also known as engineering uh, measures, and the forestry measures and agroestrological measures. So, before this is the first uh, soil conservation measures. So, soil, what is the soil conservation? Dear friends, soil conservation means to managing our land from different practices, different managemental uh, practices without any land degradation. Land degradation means without any damaging of land. Here, we will use uh, overuse of uh, your surface acidification stalinization soil erosion so these types of chemically altered soil surface to be removed and feel free to their contamination to improve their fertility of soil so soil conservation basically applied to reduce the soil loss from the earth surface by applying different measures like agronomic measures like uh, uh, if we talking about engineering practices agroestrological means applying various grasses in uh, on earth surface to uh, reduce soil loss then forestry measures like a shelter belts and uh, different uh, wind vanes so these types of activities will apply so let's with uh, these types of uh, you can see in measures how to reduce the soil loss by different cultural measures like uh, agronomic measures mechanical measures and a uh, forestry measures then agroestrological measures Agro uh, agronomic measures means to apply different agricultural practices without the loss of your soil like uh, sowing of cover crops apply rotational means a crop rotation apply mulching and different scenario will be used to reduce soil loss second point indicated that mechanical measures basically this method is applied on uh, undulated land undulated land means the area or the surface of the uh, earth is not plain so that type of uh, soil the different mechanical measures use like a uh, bending grading terracing okay contour so uh, these types of methods applied to reduce the soil loss then are uh, forestry measures forestry measures if we will come to this point this is very important for your course forestry to apply not only uh, reduce the soil loss but also you can uh, see a different uh, uh, provide a food fuel and uh, shelter and uh, fodder so these types of forestry measures is very important not only for your soil loss measures but also to improve your living Agroestrological measures means to apply different agroestrological uh, grasses like a cynodon, dactylon means a dope grass which is also known as Bermuda grass, Hariali grass and a different like a, a Saccharum spontaneum grass to reduce the soil by binding their roots to soil particles. So it's different method and these all methods we will 
discuss in next slides so start with the very first point agronomic measures of soil conservation agronomic measures of soil conservation what is the soil conservation by applying agronomic measures so these types of agronomic measures applied where the slope area is less than 2% slope area is less than 2% soil and water conservation programs these agronomic measures play an very important role okay so this is very important and a different agronomic measures we will conclude uh, we are concluding here like uh, first tillage tillage means to it is the first part of agronomic measures here include a tillage tillage means to uh, before sowing of any crop the land is mixing and ready to use for any crop cultivation so tillage tillage is basically classified two types one is primary tillage and second one is secondary tillage secondary tillage dear friends primary and secondary tillage so many questions asked in any type of exam either your competitive exam or your graduate or post graduate exam okay so there are different uh, examples like uh, what is the primary tillage what is the secondary tillage so count uh, their examples like a uh, harrow uh, disc cultivator disc plow simple plow so different types in which category comes like uh, if we talking about uh, primary tillage so in a primary tillage disc harrow come secondary tillage cultivator come so these types of you have to you have to know about these primary or secondary tillage other than tillage other than tillage you have also uh, to know about what is minimum tillage what is zero tillage this is very important for your point of view dear friends minimum tillage zero tillage so many questions asked from this point so read it very carefully what is tillage second one is contour cultivation contour cultivation means it is the imaginary line to control all the lane means a line okay basically contour cultivation applied in hilly region where the land is undulated second one is choices of crop choices of crop means this is the application of different crops in different environment like uh, uh, if we talking about pulses crop so pulses crop is adding more nutrients in our soil without any loss of any uh, soil loss or any uh, nutrients loss or soil infertility so it's a very important choices of crop then the strip cropping strip cropping means uh, uh, growing of different crops in a very strip in a line separate lines crop rotation different crops growing in uh, different seasons okay so it enhance our production as well as your environmental holdings then cover crops to covering any leguminous crop or uh, growing any crop to reduce transpiration and uh, improve the soil conservation uh, and uh, soil moisture also mulching then mulching different types of mulching we will discuss in next slide then the application of manures and fertilizer then the application of chemicals okay so these are the measures of soil conservations with special reference to agronomic measures okay then hai land preparation what is the land preparation uh, we have to know about tillage 
as I earlier discussed, you need these points, okay, to reduce a rough cloudy. Rough cloudy means the big size of clouds to remove. That's why it is easy to grow to, to germinate any crop. Then contour cultivation. Contour cultivation means a line joining the points of equal elevation. Same types of equal elevation then it is known as contour and where these practice applied so the name is contour cultivation or contour farming so all the cultural practices like uh, plowing sowing intercultivation operation it is used then the plowing and sowing across the slope so different types of methods used in contour cultivation you have to know about only and only point what is contour cultivation so first point a line joining the points of equal elevation is called contour it is applied in hilly regions where the land is undulated okay only two, two points it is very important and remaining you have to left it then this is the farming you can see by image this is the contour farming where the equal elevation applied and a different crops in grown in specific area this is the contour and the you can see it is reduced by slope one by one by one so it's called a contour this is the bench terrace the same position like a bench okay it is also applied in undulated area where, it, uh, where the land is not equal this is the also a contour bunding the cultivation by a bigger uh, contour and then a bundings also applied so this is the contour bunding then choices of crop choices crop means different crops grown like a sorghum like a sorghum maize and uh, pearl millet so it's a uh, conserving the moisture that's why it is known as erosion permitting crops okay different types other like a cow cowpea groundnut it is also known as peanut green gram black gram it is also known as uh, urad okay so which protect the soil that is called erosion resisting crops okay so this here the one question will ask uh, can ask any type like uh, what is erosion permitting crops and what is the erosion resisting crop what is erosion resisting crop and what is erosion permitting crops which crops like a uh, growing tall and like a uh, sorghum maize permit these are very effective to over use of soil so it's very very harmful as erosion permitting crops okay then cowpea grown ground nut and green gram black gram so these are erosion resisting crop we resist the soil okay so this is the straight uh, strip cropping so what is strip cropping it is a system of growing a few crop, uh, rows of erosion resisting crop and erosion permitting in alternate strips on contour contour means across the slope with the objective or breaking slopes okay so this is the strip cropping means uh, growing a different crops in very strip one line of uh, sorghum second line is uh, rice third line is bajra these types of strip cropping is applied in different uh, regions so it is very improving to erosion resisting crops okay so these are the activities applied where the resisting applies okay so this is the strip cropping and different types of strip cropping contour strip cropping field strip cropping 
wind strip cropping and buffer strip cropping so the erosion permitting crops erosion resisting crop alternate strip cropping and strip crop erosion permitting so different types of strip cropping in applied in different crop means if the erosion permitting crop basically applied for contour area means undulated area so this type applied in strip cropping in play uh, in hilly regions field strip cropping means the erosion permitting crops resisting the erosion across the general slope not an in exact contour measures while wind strip cropping means erosion permitting and erosion resisting crops applied in the direction to in uh, in irrespective with the contour cultivation okay so these are the uh, strip cropping methods and then crop rotation crop rotation is very important because it erosion permitting crop as well as erosion resisting crop different crops which enhance the crop production and reduce the soil loss like legumes in legumes looser in crop rotation reduce soil loss okay with apply of 13% uh, slopes okay so different like a uh, uh, this is the surface so this is the deep rooted crop then shallow rooted crop large height then short height okay so different types of plants grown in different matter matters like a leguminous uh, crops then showing off non leguminous crop shallow crop then deep rooted crops high nutrient then low nutrient crops so different types of crop grown in there then cover crops cover crop means like a different uh, growing leguminous crop to protect uh, the land by overgrazing by uh, conserving the soil moisture so applied to uh, soluble and conserve the nutrients the against the leaching of nutrients so different types of crops like a uh, horse gram green gram black gram dhancha so different uh, leguminous crop is growing under cover crop to reduce the soil loss this is the mulching mulching play a very important role to minimize uh, rain plus evaporation weeds reduce the temperature to provide better optimum temperature okay so it's also enhance the activity of micro microbial so this is this is the very very important mulching cultivation if you applied mulching in any crop they enhance your production to reduce uh, application of irrigation and to improve more nutrients in your soil so mulches about uh, it uh, it is known to residue cover of 30% is necessary to keep, keep runoff and soil loss within the acceptable limits so different vertical mulching like organic if we talking about organic such as grass clipping straw leaf and then bark chips similar materials in organic such as stones brick chips and a plastic cover different types of mulches can be used in your field it is uh, organic or inorganic in form so one question can come in your exam from mulching then application of manures and fertilizer if we apply organic manures in the form of fym means a farm yard manure then vermi compost and uh, any other like uh, compost okay so it enhance and improve your soil physical condition physical condition of structure of your soil to improve your application to reduce soil loss then the fertilizer improve vegetative canopy which aid in erosion control 
सो मैन्योर्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर अप्लाइड एंड प्रोड्यूस टू स्टोर योर ऑर्गेनिक कंटेंट इन योर सॉयल ह्यूमस एंड इट इंक्रीज मोर माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी सो इम्प्रूव द सॉयल टेक्स्चर एज वेल एज योर स्ट्रक्चर देन द यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स द यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स बाई ब्रेकिंग ऑफ एनी विदाउट कवरिंग सॉयल लाइक एग्रीगेट स्टेबिलिटी कैन बी इंक्रीज बाई स्प्रेइंग पॉलीविनाइल एल्कोहल एट द रेट ऑफ फोर एट्टी किलोग्राम पर हेक्टेयर इट्स डिपेंड्स ऑन योर सॉयल वाट इज द टाइप ऑफ सॉयल सो इट ट्रीटेड टू डिफरेंट डिजीजेज एंड वाटर स्टेबल सो इट इन्फिल्ट्रेशन कैपेसिटी इनक्रीज देन इट ऑल्सो हेल्प टू बाइंड द सॉयल स्ट्रक्चर मीन्स आर सॉयल पार्टिकल्स देन दिस इज द सेकेंड मीजर्स ऑफ सॉयल कंजर्वेशन मैकेनिकल मीजर्स इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज इंजीनियरिंग मीजर्स वाट इज द मैकेनिकल मीजर्स मैकेनिकल मीजर्स इज अप्लाइड टू डिफरेंट कंटूर टेरेस और बंडिंग ग्रेडिंग सो दिस इज द मीजर्स विच इंक्लूड डिफरेंट मैथड्स दे आर एडोप्टेड टू सप्लीमेंट द एग्रीकल्चरल प्रैक्टिस इन बायोलॉजिकल मैथड्स as well as practical approach okay so let's start with the first you have to know about what is the contour where it is applied so contour bending applied where the slope is up to 6% slope graded bunds applied where the slope is 6 to 10% slope graded trenches is again 10 to 16% and slope bench terracing applied where the slope angle is 16 to 33% of slope okay so this is the very important you have to read it very carefully then contour bending what is the contour bending contour bending is the construction of a small bund across the slope of land on a contour so that the long slope is cut into series of small bunds in each contour bunds act as a barrier to flow of water contour bunds uh, basically applied in low rainfall area where the rainfall is uh, in annually basis less than 600 mm okay and the uh, cover of uh, soil means soil texture it is light textured soil means the soil is not heavy okay and the slope is 2 to 6% it is very important okay so you have to know about only focused this one where i underlined the uh, sentence 2 to 6% and rainfall or less than 600 mm this is very uh, important you can skip another point okay then graded bunding what is the graded bunding graded bunding is recommended in situation where rain water is not readily absorbed due to high rainfall or low intake of the soil okay so here the rainfall is medium to high rainfall medium to high rainfall and soil having poor permeability soil having poor permeability and slope is 2 to 6% so it is comes under graded bunding then bench terrace what is the bench terrace so here the slope size is 16 to 33% then bench terraces is one of the most popular mechanical soil conservation practices adopted of india farmers theek hai bench terraces is one of the most popular mechanical soil conservation practices adopted by farmers of india and other countries of forages so sloping and undulating lands where the intensive farming can be only method to adopt which is applied by bench terracing 
so it is very very important the slope size is so big like a 16 to 33 percent okay it is recommended where the steeper slopes is seen okay then the different other methods okay so this is the bench terracing so you have to learn only one thing 16 to 33 percent slope size it is applied in where the uh, the slope is so steeper and it is the most popular mechanical method among all yeah among others okay then a trenching what is trenching so before trenching we have to know about zinc terracing also so zinc terracing what is it is the 3 to 10 percent you have to know uh, you have to can, can be seen very easily zinc terracing is 3 to 10 percent slope size soil is medium to deep soil and the moderate to high rainfall areas means more than 600 millimeter annual rainfall received where zinc terracing is applied so zinc terracing is applied where 3 to 10 percent slope size medium to deep swells and moderate to high rainfall areas so this is the very very important for you guys okay then we have to move trenching what is the trenching so this is the steeper than 33 percent means trenching is applied where the slope is more than 33 percent and the soil is badly eroded soil soil is badly eroded soil length of contour trench is 3 to 3.65 meter with interspace is trenches between the same row will only 2.4 to 3 meter so this is the trenches side slope is 0 0.5 is to 1 or 1 is to 1 so trenching applied where the uh, soil is badly eroded slope size is more than 33 percent it is adopted where high rainfall areas hilly areas high rainfall hilly areas where the rainfall is more than 1500 millimeter where the rainfall is more than 1500 millimeter then forestry measures forestry measures is very important why it is important because nowadays we are facing so many problems in uh, climate change global warming so forestry is one of the most important in not only aspect of soil conservation but also in soil conservation water erosion and uh, wind erosion okay so soil erosion so different types uh, these covers by forestry measures applying different forest plants to set at different elevation across the slope same the slope to imp improve the soil structure to bind the soil particles so that soil loss is less like a vegetation dried leaves floor intercept and different impact of raindrops is applied so uh, forestry measures in different plants like a shelter belts shelter belts against the wind erosion and uh, wind windy plants okay shady plants so different types of plants can be grown so this is the very important uh, forestry measures apply to conserve the soil erosion then agroistological measures agroistological measures play an important role to reduce the soil loss in the area where it is uh, it is either in high rainfall areas or in less rainfall areas so grass what is the role of grass so grass is binding the soil particles what is the role of grass grass binding the soil particles and improve the 
soil structure grass binding the soil particles so if it is applied to bind the soil particles so your soil is binding so it is reduce the chances of soil loss then improving the soil structure different legumes build and soil fertility by fixing atmospheric nitrogen like lucerne uh, sorry dhaicha and another type phacelus vulgaris glycine max okay so but if you know about phacelus vulgaris it is one only one leguminous crop which doesn't fix atmospheric nitrogen you have to know very well sometimes the question will ask from this side also okay so this is the astrological measures so you can also see here improve the soil structure porosity infiltration and add more organic matter to the soil some grasses uh, grasses like a centurus ciliaris penicetum purpurium cynodon dactylon cetaria spaceliata okay cetaria spaceliata and sacrum spontaneum cypress rotundus cypress rotundus and different soil used for palatable to reduce soil loss by covering the soil surface out of which cyno uh, cynodon dactylon means dope grass or bermuda grass it is very very important for your soil conservation so these are the methods which is applied to conserve soil from various sources okay so i think it is very important for your point of exam so let's start very carefully you have to read in four streams agronomic measures mechanical measures third one is your forestry measures then agroecological measures agroecological measures okay so these are the four measures applied to conserve the soil out of which you have to read very carefully in uh, mechanical measures to uh, different so slopes then what is the angle where it is applied and what is the uh, soil it is less soil uh, acidic soil light soil heavy soil and the different methods applied in different rainfallic area where the rainfall is less moderate or high so it's all about soil conservation measures thank you so much have a nice day